Hey, hello YouTube, how's it going? It's Food Clever Sausage, and I'm bringing this article video uh, on a supposed train passenger uh, captured probably via a mobile phone being abusive, racially abusive to a Indian train conductor. Um, I personally don't think she's really been racist. I think she is just like expressing her opinion you know um, her perspective I mean I didn't hear her when I watched it say oh here's a curry much or a gollywog or a bobblehead or anything or, you know uh, like that uh, anything racist or um, bigoted and um, people just took it out of context um, and then they start abusing her because she says praise Jesus you know start pointing out how could you be a Christian if you're saying that stuff and um, you know and praise Jesus um, yeah this is basically a video on you know, New Zealand for the people who have never been to New Zealand you know never heard of that place uh, you know um, we might be thinking of coming here um, racism happens all over the world uh, I used to like work for an animal control service as a field officer, go door to door check for uh, dog registrations. I was told, uh, instructed that if you see a couple of dogs on the property or in a car and they don't have the, at the time, the red tag, then um, go find the owners and get them to show you the tags because by, uh, council bylaws states that they have to carry the tags with them wherever they go they got the dogs you know, in the car or the, uh, on the property um, to, as proof of registration you know so this guy uh, punk rock skinhead you know, started getting all abusive I can understand why it's because I um, you know, they probably weren't registered or maybe forgot to bring them and um, yeah it's just started being racist using the old n-word you know, f off you yeah, n-word um, the stuff like that and his mate was like oh I'm so sorry about that man you know like sorry about that on his behalf and says oh yeah worries and a little old lady next door peeking out the window she saw it all you know she witnessed it all so I left there you know after informing him who I was again and I'm saying well you know if you don't show the um, proof of registration you know whether you have the paper or the, or the tags we shouldn't really have the tags it's a bottle of it you got to produce them on demand or else you'll end up getting a notice you have to you know, get a phone call maybe appear in court pay a fine of a penalty fine up to 500 bucks if you don't register in a certain amount of time you know um yeah so again people don't like getting caught at you know sometimes maybe if they're pacific islands or something like that after speaking with them for a little bit you know they start feigning that they don't understand English you know and all this sort of stuff trying to get out of it same with Asians um yeah or else they try to say oh it's not my dog it belongs to my auntie or oh, is she oh she's gone to Australia um this is where you catch them right oh how long she been over there for oh about two years oh well your dog's been on here more than um two weeks you gotta register it it's legally yours you know and then they, oh, oh don't know English anymore especially when you say oh you know you get a 500 dollar fine Oh, five hundred dollars, five hundred dollars. They understand that, so yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, ended up leaving there. Went next door, talked to this little old lady. You know, she says, "Oh yeah, I saw what's going on. Shameful, shameful. It makes you ashamed, you know, of him. You know, ashamed to be a New Zealander, etc., etc." So we sat down, had a cup of tea, cookies, got over it. And she was a really lovely little old lady. Um, I think she had a dog. I can't remember. It was years ago. But yeah, listen to this video and, and see if you can hear any racism, you know, like bubblehead, gobblehead, carry much or whatever, because oh, I didn't. I think they just took it out of perspective, as I was saying. I know you're playing yourself before I throw you off at the next station. From yours? Yes. Good, and I have two what you know. I'm wasting you. What was that, sorry? Civil. Civil. Mind your manners. Well, I have an unethical Mind your manners. Mind your manners. Mind your manners. Well, my manners are perfect. Oh, no, they're not. I like yours. In your country, they're not. That's what does my country have to do with it? Yeah. 
First, I thought she was a drunk, you know, I've been on sipping the alcohol because that's the kind of thing they say when you know the Dutch courage, what they call Dutch courage, get a few hours behind you or a few whiskies, yeah, you know, it all comes out your mouth. Um, yeah, but <laughs> yeah, you be the judge of it. You know, was she being racist, bigoted, whatever? Um, I think she, yeah, in a sense talking about their country, you know, like maybe she's been here or she knows about India, I don't know. Um, yeah, just a rash statement, you know. Uh, so maybe she had a bad day previously, who, who knows, she's got a different reasons, you know. I don't think she really meant anything by it. Oh, I don't know, it wasn't there, so, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, go look at another video of, of um, you know, obviously blatant racism, and um, they'll go on and on and on. Um, I think there was one on Oprah one time I watched. A guy was racist, didn't want these black people in his town. Some white lady had married a black guy and brought him into their town, and he started some movement, like the KKK sort of based movement, and kicked them all out, sort of thing. Had a lot of supporters, and then. Um, did a DNA test on the guy, found out that he was so much perceived black, you know. <laughs> he was a white guy that had so much percentage of black in his DNA. And um, they were like, well, what do you got to say now? And he's like, oh my goodness. And there was a black lady supporting him saying, yeah, 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 you know. Interracial marriage, blah, 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 all this sort of crap. Yeah, it's quite a weird um, video. Yeah, so if you like this video and... Uh, you want to see more about New Zealand because you've never been there before, you know, um, and thinking of visiting it. Um, subscribe below, leave comments, give me a thumbs up, and I'll make some more videos, bring you some more videos on New Zealand. Um, yeah, for you to enjoy. Okay. <laughs>